To many, General Motors is an automaker not to be trusted when it comes to electric vehicles. And if I'm honest, GM has had a bit of a shady past when it comes to cleaner, greener transport, canning the EV1 and before that, playing a pivotal role in buying up and then discontinuing trolleybus and streetcar services across the US, back in a time known by historians as the golden age of the American auto industry. But in recent years, spurred on by the success of its Chevrolet Volt range extended electric car, which yes, I know some of you call a plug-in hybrid, and, no doubt intimidated by the successes of Tesla, General Motors has a whole lot more energy that it's put into developing electric vehicles. And while it's still grouched about production electric vehicles, or as it sees governments forcing electric drivetrains on people through zero emissions mandates, GM has started, finally, to take plug-in vehicles seriously. The Chevrolet Bolt EV, the first ever long-range electric car from the company, is the first example of that. Developed in double quick time and produced in collaboration with technology partner and battery supplier LG Chem, the Bolt EV offers a real-world range in excess of its official 238 mile, 383 kilometer EPA range, and 0 to 62 miles per hour time that's on par with a V6 powered Ford Mustang, and a starting price tag of $36,620 before incentives. But as a CUV, the Bolt EV doesn't suit everyone's needs. And in a lineup where GM still offers roaring V8 engines that barely get double digit fuel economy, the impact the Bolt EV has on GM's corporate average fuel economy isn't all that big, especially when GM's strongest sellers are still large SUVs and pickup trucks. Which is why yesterday, when GM followed in the tire tracks of other major global automakers and stated a commitment to bringing a slew of new battery electric and fuel cell electric vehicles to market by 2023, I sat up and took notice. And I think you should too, because while GM and other Detroit automakers may not be Tesla, the auto industry's collective decision to push towards vehicle electrification will have some pretty big implications for everyone. In GM's case, the push towards electric vehicles will be split between battery electric vehicles like the Bolt EV and hydrogen fuel cell vehicles, a move which GM says it feels is needed to ensure that all of its current customers' needs are met. And while I'm no particular fan of hydrogen fuel cell vehicles, I would much rather GM offered hydrogen fuel cell vehicles alongside battery electric models than continue to offer low mileage internal combustion engine vehicles, especially for vehicles used for commercial, military or heavy duty fleets, where battery electric use may still be impractical. In the next 18 months, GM says, it will offer two brand new electric vehicles, using what it's learned from the Bolt EV to inform its engineering decisions moving forward. Then by 2023, that number will grow to 20 new models, some all electric, some hydrogen fuel cell electric. Many of them, GM has hinted, will end up in the rapidly growing SUV and crossover market, a move which would see GM go after its core buyers rather than niche market customers. And given how large that market is, especially in places like China, it could change the course of electric vehicles forever. After all, if GM can switch its crossover and SUV customers to plug-in cars, then it will convert a large portion of its customers to plug-in vehicles. And while that will not only dramatically range its corporate average fuel economy, it will also encourage the competition to follow suit as well. And I'm not talking about the kind of early adopters who are already considering an electric car, or indeed, people who are watching this video. I'm talking about everyday car buyers who want a functional, reliable car that doesn't cost too much and gets the job done. Customers who really don't care how it's fueled as long as it works. But still remain to be unconvinced? Ultimately, GM has indicated it wants to replace internal combustion engines completely with battery electric and hydrogen fuel cells, resulting in an all-electric future. At the moment, GM currently sells somewhere in the region of 275 thousand vehicles a month in the US alone. That's nearly three times more cars in one month than Tesla hopes to sell globally this year. And at that kind of volume, GM and rival companies too, if they follow suit, will be producing and consuming battery packs at the kind of volumes or economies of scale will dramatically reduce costs. Sure, it'll take an initial cut in profit as initial startup costs are written off. But just as hybrid vehicle technology costs have dropped over the past decade, so too will battery electric and hydrogen fuel cell technology costs, especially with such a large push from large automakers like GM. 
Yes, Tesla may win in the luxury car segment, and its Model 3 may give similar-sized premium models a run for their money. It may even retain its lead in the electric car marketplace when it comes to innovation, customer support, and autonomous capabilities. But with GM and other mainstream automakers waking up to electric vehicles, it's going to become less about which automakers make electric cars and more about which companies make electric cars that suit the individual's needs. And although GM has pulled out of Europe and other parts of the world too, this kind of massive switch to electric vehicles will have consequences even in markets where cars from GM won't be sold. As I've said before, the goal of Tesla CEO Elon Musk has always been to get the world off fossil fuels and onto clean, green, renewable energy, regardless of which company is providing that transition service. So while Tesla fans may mock GM for its promise, I think Musk and the rest of the world who want this fuel transition to happen will welcome it. After all, if GM really is serious, is committed to change, and produces products that have the potential to change the world, isn't it time to welcome it aboard the big boy EV train? That's it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell to hear the moment a new show is uploaded, and click the Patreon link at the end of this video or in the description below if you want to help me make more of these videos. Until next time, keep evolving!